In order to prepare the Apple Watch for the application, we now need our polishing pad with a number 1 on it. The polish is very economical, so only very little of it is required. Unfortunately, I'll took a little too much of it, better take less. To apply the polishing pad, take a soft tissue and rub the polishing pad over the display surface. It is particularly important to progress the edge sufficiently. When we have finished applying the polishing pad, the first step will be using the alcohol wipe to clean the display thoroughly, in order to remove the polish and dirt. For the second part of the wipes the display will be dried. On the next step we need the Scratch V for Apple Watches. We now apply a half milliliter or milliliter of this depending on the Apple Watch model you have. Since I have a 44 model here, I will exactly place 1 milliliter on the display surface. As soon as the glue is applied, make sure that no bubbles are visible. In my case, I had a bubble that I removed with a microfiber cloth. In the next step, we then need the PMMA film. Take this out of the box and remove both protective films. First the upper and then the lower layer. Next carefully and slowly put the PMMA film on the display. Start on one side and slowly lower the film. This is very important to avoid the formation of bubbles, otherwise you have to lift the protector again to remove bubbles. Now the whole thing goes by itself and you can already see the disappearance of the scratches. In the next step, we take a standard soft tissue, fold it twice and lay it down. It is important that it is fresh, so that it does not contain any dirt that could scratch the film. Then we lay it on the screen for 10 to 20 seconds, so that the film can set correctly. Please do not leave it upside down for longer than indicated. This means that we will have the perfect gap dimension later. If a bit of glue runs out, that's no problem, it will be removed later. As soon as it lay down long enough, we turn back the watch. Now let it lay for about 30 seconds to let the film rest briefly. If you see that the protector is pulling a bubble, lift the protector, give in a little more glue and remove the bubble. If your protector is not in the middle, you can send that with your finger. In my case, I didn't need to do that. After about 30 seconds, no bubbles have shown. In the next step, we take the UV lamp, open its legs and connect the UV lamp to a power bank or wall charger. Now we hold down the button. As a result, the UV lamp then lights up for 120 seconds, so 2 minutes. As soon as the two minutes are over, we can move on to the next step. If the Apple Watch has turned on, you can turn it off, please. Next step is to clean the watch. With my fingernail, I carefully remove the coarse glue residue.
Now we take the isopropanol and the fresh soft tissue. Be thirsty with the isopropanol because not much of it is needed. If glue should have run into the crown, let the glue harden. Then push it in and turn the crown. This allows you to easily peel off the glue. We clean the watch with more fresh soft tissues and isopropanol until there is no more adhesive residue. It is important that the watch is cleaned very well in order to completely remove the adhesive. As soon as we have finished cleaning, we do not see a single scratch and have successfully carried out the Scratch UV application for Apple Watches. It's unbelievable if you think about how the watch looked before. Finally, I would like to show you how a matte film looks compared to a high gloss film. Here you can see it. You can of course purchase these in the shop. I hope I could help you to make your Apple Watch beautiful again. If you need help or have any questions, please contact us using the contact form on the application page. Otherwise, I wish you have a nice day. See you!